Hi everybody, this is Alex at Bud Light Sports. Today I'm going to talk about something that we made a while ago, which is the K-Series jumper harness to be able to have a stock K-Pro. When I say stock K-Pro, I mean the standard K-Pro that you would buy from, a, from Hondata for your RSX or your K-Series motor. We basically adapted that to put in, to put in a 00 to 05 S2000. We did this a few years back actually. And then it's gone through some, some firmware updates and what we ended up finding out was there was an issue with the fact that uh, timing, the, everybody's engine timing was messing up our software and it was causing an error for the ECU and the ECU was having a timing sync error and uh, with the cam and crank. And what ends up happening is it, it started hitting rev limit past, uh, past 8,000 RPMs, which Again, we didn't find out for the longest time. We didn't find out because we, when we initially made this jumper harness, let me show you the jumper harness. So this is our K, K series or Honda K Pro jumper harness that goes right into the S2000 engine harness. And this is a standard RSX K Pro, not the same Honda K Pro that you buy for an S2000. <clears throat> what they do is they Take, they change the circuit board and they, uh, not just the circuit board, but they change the, the connectors so it plugs straight into the stock uh, S2000 engine harness. And you have it do, it's a sensor conversion one. So that means for the S2000 K Pro that they sell you, you have to change this, you have to change to the 06 to 09 S2000 valve cover and cam sensors. These older ones, these older versions uh, from the S2000, the 00 to 05 S2000 use a magnetic sensor for the cam and the crank pickup. The crank pickup would be way down there. You can't really see it, but it's there. And so you have an intake and exhaust magnetic cam sensor. In 2006, Honda changed the whole system to drive by wire, a lot of people know about that, and they also updated all the uh, the cam and crank sensors. They actually got rid of this sensor and only used the exhaust sensor, and then they changed to what's called a Hall Effect sensor. Now, the reason why they changed the Hall Effect sensor is because the newer ECUs all use uh, all use Hall Effect uh, sensors, so the ECU doesn't know can't can't read the magnetic sensors from the older system. So what we did was we made a jumper harness with a circuit board that has a sensor conversion for the cam crank signals so the ECU will be able to read the cam and crank synchronization and then start the car. So this car is running right now with a standard, like I said, a standard RSX. This is a PRB from a uh, RSX Type S from the 2004 to 2000 or 2002 to 2004 and then we connect it straight to the s2000 engine harness we have now updated our firmware it took us a while to find out what was wrong because we didn't understand uh, at first because our engine has always used our timing gear so our timing on our our timing chain our cam and crank synchronization time was always really good and so that's why we we never could figure out why everybody was having an issue Okay guys, so now that we fixed the issue with the Honda jump harness, again, we apologize. We're still a young company. We're trying our best to do things that nobody's done before and nobody has made a Honda plug and play K-Pro except for us. And it's been quite a learning experience. What we learned is a lot of people have bad timing on their engines. That means the, the timing chains are stretched out and your, your engine timing has retarded so I highly recommend you get an adjustable cam gear or just change the timing chain to brand new. I mean, that'll get you so much more horsepower back, like re a return of lost horsepower, re better fuel economy. It's, so, it's such an overlooked maintenance that nobody does uh, because the timing chains will go to like 300,000 miles and nobody ever thinks about changing them because it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. I like using cam gears or an adjustable uh, center drive gear is what we sell. 
Uh, I like that better because it's so much easier than taking out the timing chain. The fact that the timing chain does last 300,000 miles, you can adjust for the, t the chain stretch and get the TDC timing dialed in so much nicer and it's, so, it's way easier to, to install. You know, SC1000 cams are super easy to take out and the timing chain um, gear, the idle gear is really easy to, to swap in and out. One to two hours versus 10 hours of doing a, a timing chain and guides. Super tedious job in my opinion. Anyways, so with that being said, this new firmware update that we put in will handle up to 14,000 RPMs and without having any sync errors we made sure we overcompensated for you know everybody's older engines now putting on ours on capro uh, we also made sure the firmware would not have any sync errors all the way up to 11 degrees so far finally i believe we fixed every issue that uh, that has ever come up with this with this product and what we're going to do for everyone that has purchased this product we are going to give you a free firmware update. We're gonna contact you by email. Uh, everybody that's purchased through our website, if you haven't uh, purchased through our website, you purchased through another uh, a third party vendor, please email us at info at belatedsports.com. We will support and we'll change out the, your, your jumper harness with another one with a new firmware update. Okay, so all you gotta do is send it to us. Okay, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you for your support. Take care.